Hello Scorpio and welcome back to another reading with Soulful. How are you this hump day? I hope that it finds you well and you're doing well, okay? All right. So my contest is over just for those that need to know a quick reminder and thank you for all the new subs, likes, subscribes and follows on as well on Instagram, okay? Thank you everybody for coming and subscribing and watching my videos and I'm just I, <laughs> I'm just overjoyed. I'm almost at a thousand. You guys really have no idea how much I love y'all and I really appreciate all of the the comments and everything you're going to you're going to say or have said, okay? <laughs> I am just super surprised right now. Every hour there's more follows. So thank you for all the support. Okay, Scorpio, new and old. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so this will work for Scorpio's sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. If this does not resonate. Feel free to check out any of my other videos here on my channel. I do do every single sign, okay? That's actually something I was wondering. I wonder if I should focus more on specific signs that tend to get drawn to my channel. Let me know, Scorps, if you think that that would be better, okay? All right. Please use discernment, guys. General readings, but I think you all know that when you come here, these are general readings. I don't know how I, if I need to repeat that, but for some people, I think they need to hear it. Okay. All right. So let's connect with the water sign Scorpio. Tell me what's going on in the life of Scorpio. What energy? Feeling blocked. All right, Scorpio. So I feel right now, um, as I, as I said a minute ago, I was connecting with the energy and it felt really blocked. Okay. And I feel that there is something you're not talking about, something you really need to discuss and you're keeping it to yourself because you're in a state of, you know, addressing pain, addressing something that some, some serious heartache in your life. Okay. Uh, I'm also hearing perhaps mirroring that has happened in your life. Someone has said something to you or done something that you just did not like. Okay. The other possibility is that someone is giving you the silent treatment and this is what I'm kind of getting, or you're giving someone the silent treatment. But here with the three of pentacles in reverse, I'm also feeling that the more you don't talk about this specific topic or this thing that is, has hurt you. Okay. It is kind of, it is kind of helping you. Okay. It's helping you to reassess the situation and to start healing and to grow. Okay. I'm also hearing here for some Scorpios, a bit of depression, a bit of just in your emotions, not really expressing how you feel about them. Okay. With the Knight of Swords here in reverse. Uh, it's also possible that you're very busy. I don't know why I'm hearing this, that you're so busy. You're not really getting the time to yourself to actually talk about this. So you're kind of letting it heal on its own. Okay. You may also feel a little bit alone. Like you're the only one in the world with this emotion that you're having. All right, Scorpio. Okay. So let's start getting some clarity on the Knight of swords here. And that's not a nice energy. Like, I, I know how that feels, you know? It's not nice. Okay, Knight of Cups again here in reverse. Three of Cups and the uh, Five of Wands. Yeah, Scorpio, there, there was something that happened that uh, I'm even thinking with a sense of competition here. There was competition between maybe you and another person. This could be in the workplace. This could also be a friendly competition in a sense. But I feel as though here with the Knight of Cups in reverse that emotionally, okay, the person you, you were probably dealing with or the group of people that you were dealing with, they weren't very compassionate, okay? They weren't really handling the situation, <sighs> the competition in a way that was beneficial. And I feel this is why you're healing from this situation right now, okay? So it, it wasn't 
fair. There wasn't there wasn't a fair competitive nature about it. Even though we have the three of cups in the upright, I feel that there was just maybe something that happened behind the scenes that caused this three of swords, okay, um, that you, you weren't aware of, that I, I feel you weren't aware of. Yeah. There's a real secretive energy here. You know, and I know Scorpio energy has can have a tendency to be like that, but I feel that despite this this competition despite what was going on and I don't know why I'm hearing this is definitely in the workplace for some of you okay could be this three of pentacles in the reverse but uh, I do I get a lot of readings for Scorpio that are in career it's really strange <laughs> maybe that's because Scorpio is very career oriented but what I am what I am seeing here is that it was just you're, you're trying to let something go when it comes to this situation. So let's go ahead and get more clarity here. Whoa. Oh my goodness. We got Ace of Wands and Page of Cups. Huh. Then we have the Hierophant. Interesting. This is reminding me of a reading that I had for Scorpio. I think it might have been two weeks ago. Where someone had actually been like in seniority, okay, of you and your job and your position, okay, and they kind of like overstepped you in your position. That was how it was. But I feel here, okay, that when this competition happened, whether it was in the workplace, um, I, I kind of also am hearing like <laughs> there was a lot of bickering going on between other coworkers, okay, and maybe even some of these coworkers were your friends. Okay. And some of them may have even been gossiping. I, I, I'm hearing this about each other and you took action on this. Okay. You took action and you tried to introduce a, a an alternative. Okay. But I do feel that as that happened, you know, you were trying to come from a compassionate place. You were trying to get people to work together, but they just weren't here with the three of pentacles in reverse. This is why I really feel this is at your workplace. This is for somebody who is maybe managing a team even, going through the team and trying to get them to cooperate, okay, with the, with the Hierophant here and the Page of Cups. I feel that you took a stance, but in the process, it may have caused a division between you and a couple of other people that were within the workplace, okay? But I see here like within a hidden kind of message is that, I mean, there may have been some appreciation for what you were doing from a couple of the different people. This is what I'm picking up on the message here. There may have been some appreciation for what it was you were doing because you may have been trying to follow traditional standards of your workplace. And some people were maybe fighting against that or causing uh, an uprise in the workplace. This could even be political. I'm hearing that like a political um, sort of, how do I want to say this? Not, not that you work in politics, though that is possible here, but more like a political uh, views, okay? Or bringing them into the workplace, people trying to, you know, talk about their political views and bring them in and make the situation kind of work in their favor versus the other person. And you're mediating. I feel like you were trying to mediate this situation, but it was causing some pain. Okay. Because I think friendships were being affected uh, in the workplace. That is if you keep friends in the workplace. So let's have a look here at the, the three of pentacles in reverse. But you tried to ground the situation, Scorpio. Five of swords. Yeah. I feel like there was a younger person, okay, here with the page of wands. I feel like there was a younger person in the workplace who was causing this. They were causing some kind of, you know, big deal out, about, uh, out of something. Maybe they were taken a little too personally, okay? They wouldn't let go of whatever this problem was, okay? And I've seen this before um, in, in jobs that I've had before, places I've worked, you know, people bringing their garbage from home with them to work. Okay. And really just <laughs> causing a problem. 
causing a problem for everybody involved at the workplace. But I do see here, you know, with the Knight of Swords, now you're sh like you're 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 trying to you're trying to shut off about it. Maybe in the past, okay, you were trying to shut off about it. You were like, I'm gonna ignore this. I'm gonna ignore this. But people were looking to you, okay, Scorpio. They were looking to you to actually say something. And I think in this situation, you were the only one that could, because you were able to deliberate here with the Hierophant. You were able to deliberate the situation. All right. So let's have a look at the energy around this conflict. Can you tell me about the energy around this conflict? And someone who, the person who presented the idea to you, I can understand, you know, with the Page of Wands, they were probably really passionate about it and they probably moved a little bit quicker than you thought they would, okay? And you kind of were like, how am I going to, how am I going to stop this? You know, uh, you could be a little older, like I said, than this person. They may have different values than you do. And it was kind of really messing with the work, the workplace. So you know, it's, it's hard to deal with people when they're really passionate about something and, and like a page of wands. But however, I feel that the person, while they may be passionate, there's a novice feeling to it, you know, with a page, it's like, you may be passionate about this, but you can't, you can't really, you're, you're messing with the, uh, the ecosystem of this workplace, right? So, you know, you cannot bring your garbage and your emotional garbage into work with you like that. You, you're going to have to let, leave it at home here. Okay. With the six of swords, leave that at home. Why are you bringing it to work? So I think that you were trying to solve this work situation. Interesting reading. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about the energies behind the conflict here. Tell me about the energies behind this conflict. The sun in reverse. Everybody was getting disappointed. Okay, I think this is what was happening. Everybody was like, this is not working out. Yeah, we've got the um, the six of pentacles in reverse here. Okay, they just, people were not getting along. Okay, the, this person was destroying the ability for peace in the workplace, for coexistence between people with the six of pentacles in reverse. And people were shutting off. Okay, the energy you felt and you felt that Scorpio as an intuitive sign, you felt that and you can feel that no matter where you are, especially if you're around a bunch of people in the workplace and you're in a position where you deliberate this kind of thing or maybe in a seniority position, right? And you saw this happening. People were kind of taking the hermit stance. They were like not talking about it. People, you know, so the energy was really just not nice. And with the sun in reverse, maybe the, it was a very immature energy, the way that it was coming about, okay? Oh gosh, I hate, <laughs> I hate situations like that. Okay, you were trying to balance it, I think. You were trying to offer new ways as well here with the Page of Cups, new ways of understanding, new ways of understanding the situation. We're being very patient, Scorpio. So I can understand why we have the Three of Swords here now in the reverse because you're just trying to like let go of that attachment to the pain of that situation. You're trying to let go of it. It's just, and maybe it's happening a bit slower than you'd like. All right. So I would like to know possible, uh, actually let's just get nosy. Tell me about this page. Tell me about this page that was causing some problems. Okay. Tell me about this page. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So I feel here that this person is just like overall dissatisfied with the way that this, the way that work is okay there. And I really get the feeling here that they, they kind of think they know how to upgrade things. They, they think they know how to build a better, you know, foundation here, make it happier for maybe the younger people that are working there. And with the queen of wands here, it's, it's, they're really trying to embody this energy of, I don't want to say takeover, but this energy of, I really know how to handle this. I know how to act. I know how to do this. And that's why you Scorpio were the one who was stepping up to the plate because you maybe on some level you knew, yeah, okay, this person has kind of the right idea, but they're causing conflict despite it. So I think that maybe this person wants to change how things work at the workplace. They want to change how people view the ideas there. And they're doing it from a position of a page, but with a mindset of a queen 
okay? And so it's kind of like you got to watch out for that kind of masking, you know, while a person may be emotionally mature or coming off as though they're very actively passionate about something and they know what's what, that maybe when it comes to career, they're still a novice, even though they have great ideas. Um, you may be dealing with the type of a personality type that's um, a bit creative, okay? You may be dealing with someone that likes to think more outside the box than you're used to at your workplace. All right. What are possible outcomes for Scorpio in this situation? Possible outcomes. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen that show, The Office? I don't know why. I just keep thinking of The Office right now and all these people. And Okay. We've got Ace of Cups and possible outcomes. The Fool and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I can't put this any more bluntly. I do feel that the situation will work out. Eventually, someone's going to present a new idea, whether it's this person, you, or someone in the workplace is going to present a new idea. And here with the fool, this is either going to be a cycle that repeats again, all right, Scorpio? So pay attention to that. In the future, you may want to, where this person comes back around after they've calmed down and and they may say, oh, you know, um, hey, wait, let's try this, you know, and you're back here as the dog like wait no don't do that we don't need to do that okay <laughs> in the full card but it's like that's a possibility the other is that when the ace of cups when someone presents a new idea their idea may seem foolish to everybody around and we've got a queen of swords in reverse here it's a possibility that they're going to get knocked down a peg by someone else in the workplace someone who really knows what's what or or they're going to become a control freak. Okay, that's also a possibility or whatever it is that they're going to present is going to be really kind of just good looking at first, but then boom, in comes like this new wave that they're going to go through, this new cycle where they their idea gets approved or their, whatever it is they want to do with everybody gets, they get bumped up but then suddenly they turn into that do you see what i'm saying this is kind of the vibe i'm feeling of a possible outcome here so let's get some advice from source all right scorpio maybe um maybe there's something you can do in the meantime to at least protect yourself in this situation and the people that you know deserve to be you know, alongside you as you try to th this is a crappy conflict i'll tell you that much okay what advice do you have, Source, for Scorpio? Okay, the answers you need are coming. All right. Okay, you know, something may be happening in the workplace right now. Something may be happening at your office or at your job, okay, where, you know, you're waiting on, on this person's uh, idea or this person's view of whatever it is they brought with them to, to work to be approved or disapproved that could be what this queen of swords in reverse is here maybe someone's gonna cut down their idea you know their ace of cups and you know here comes a fool with their ace of cups like hey um check this out you know and then boom okay maybe someone's gonna cut it down and be like no that's not that's not worth it okay then we have your dreams need a practical plan. I, I had a feeling a Taurus card was going to come out. Okay, full moon in Taurus. So it's possible here to remain practical, remain grounded as this situation kind of flows through. You know, don't get all up in this person's face and, you know, be practical about how you approach them. Okay, and then we have a personal issue reaches resolution. And then this one actually came out. Bring love into the situation. Yeah. You know, I feel that uh, you're just going to keep being you here with this Aquarius energy. You're going to just... The, the best advice here is that compassion for a person who is still learning the ropes, so to speak. And then the personal issue that they seem to be having, okay, with this. It's going to come to a resolution. Maybe with this Queen of Swords in the reverse here is... I, I really get the vibe of a third energy. Like somebody at the workplace is not going to allow this to continue happening. Or they're going to be like, uh, we're cutting this off, Okay. All right, let's see what the angels have to say, okay, Scorpio? About your work. Let's see what the angels have to say about your work.
Heart song. What is your heart saying? Ooh, the three of swords here, right? What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging and your truth is love. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel, you know, take that message however it resonates with you, but perhaps you are the one in this party of insanity that has the ability to deliberate and keep people from, you know, fighting with them one another. And maybe that's how you need to keep things grounded if you can. All right, Scorpio, that was a reading for you, which was apparently career. I'll see you later. Bye.